Welcome. This is a tale of two tables in Pressions dashboard, or not the no red dashboard, table one and table two. They both have the same information, but they behave right differently. Uh, let's assume these tables are displaying uh, some real-time information. And uh, you scroll down, maybe you sort by temperature, and you do that in both tables, sort by temperature, That's descending, and maybe you scroll down, are you really fixated in a particular row because maybe you're looking for an update that's happening and you want to keep track of it. Uh, so you have the table configured exactly as, as you want and then an update happens. Now, the update happened in table one, you completely lost the position you were in, the sort order, but table two didn't. So this is the motivating example uh, for this video, which also is a, is a good uh, segue into talking about intermediate and advanced topics related to uh, the UI table node, which is a very powerful node impression or node red dashboard. So what is the flow that's producing this, uh, this these tables? Let's walk through it. So here is the um, the input. So it's a sample button or um, that I just click to update the data uh, in the tables. And then there's an injector if I want to inject data from uh, from the editor. And by the way, this is uh, Pression Designer, the premier uh, data ops and IoT uh, platform, which is uh, built on top of uh, Node-RED. So all I'm going to say is applicable um, to Node-RED too. Uh, so here's the input. And then the data is generated by this uh, function block, um, which has an array of uh, CD objects, um, name and state. And then uh, disregard this for the for time being. Every uh, CD gets a um, uh, temperature and humidity just assigned um, randomly. And then for table one, that information goes directly into uh, the table object. And as you can see, we have defined the columns um, where they find, define the table functionality uh, in, in the UI. Um, you have city, state, temperature, humidity, etc. So that's for table one. And the, the issue with uh, losing sorting and position is that um, the JavaScript library that um, the UI table wraps around is called tabulator. And uh, tabulator keeps um, track of the rows and their position by assigning them uh, an ID uh, field. And that's why I'm showing here uh, in the tables the, the ID column. You don't have to, and usually that's not displayed, but I want to show it so that it's clear what's going on. So if, if you don't provide this ID field for a row, tabulator would actually assign one to it. And this is the key to maintaining uh, sort order, position, all of it, is trying to keep these um, IDs in uh, the exact uh, sequence uh, that you want. And so that's where they're, they're displayed here. And as you can see, in, in the, uh, for table one, not assigning them. And every time there's a refresh or the, a new sample, the whole table is updated. And that's why uh, you, you lose uh, the the viewport that you are in, and by viewport I mean the position that you are in the uh, in the scroll uh, in the scroll bar and uh, the sort order, etc. So uh, so that's kind of your the simple way of, of making the table. 
Um, and when table two is, it's more involved, perhaps a little bit more involved, but uh, it's more of a showcase of, of what you can do to harness the uh, underlying power of tabulator and uh, perhaps have a more degree of uh, configurability and flexibility. So table two is uh, defined a little bit differently. So you can see here, there's no column definition uh, in the nodes um, edit um, panel. So the actual table is defined uh, in this function block called init table. And by the way, no need to um, to, drag, to keep track of all of this or try to, uh, uh, if you miss anything on, on, on the functions, the uh, information on how to get uh, this flow that I'm displaying and uh, what nodes are used and all that information is going to be in the description uh, of the video. So you can just uh, try to pay attention and then you can review the, the flow uh, at your leisure. So the table is uh, defined in, in this function node and you can see here are some of the, col some of the column definition. As you can see here, there's some of the column definition. Um, the uh, the columns you can see are defined by field, title, what's alignment, what type of uh, uh, information is displaying. In this case, a number for the ID, etc. So this is similar to what one would define in the um, in the UI of of the node. However. You see that there's uh, this the message has this uh, UI control property, and this is the way um, this UI control way. It's it's a mechanism that the dashboard has, and some of the nodes have to support. But it's a way to access underlying JavaScript libraries uh, like Tabulator. As you can see here, the UI control has a Tabulator object, and essentially this object is is, is uh, merged with whatever it's defined on the uh, on the UI and then passed as the initialization for for tabulator and for example here you see that uh, there's uh, this initial sort property and that's a way to uh, I'm using that property so that uh, when the table refreshes either because of a, a deployment or just the actual dashboard uh, web page was refreshed, then you can load up the uh, uh, the previously the, the last uh, sort order that was used. And there are other properties. So the question is, how do you know that there's an initial sort property or a data sorted property? And what are the columns the definition? Well, for that, uh, you go to the tabulator site website, which has really good documentation. 